Hi, my name's Glenn Vickery. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Kiwi Bushcraft and Survival. And tonight, um, me and one of the other guards, we spotted uh, some uh, uh, ink caps. Um, so shaggy ink caps, so mushrooms. So we're going to um, go and pick those, and uh, I'm going to cook those up tonight um, when I get home. So uh, we're going to head outside shortly, and uh, we're going to pick those. So um, stay with us, and we'll be back shortly. Cheers. Okay, so uh, welcome back. So yeah, here's one of the uh, mushrooms here. Okay, um, the best ones are the ones that are um, um, just straight white, and you can't see any uh, um, ink, black ink coming off them. But I'll show you some shortly that have the, the, the ink as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is all you do is come down and you want to dig your finger underneath the ground, okay, and pull the whole mushroom out like that, okay, and then we're just going to, um, I'll bring it up a bit closer, alright, so there, there it is there, alright, I'll get a better shot of it later on at home um, so that you can see it better, yeah. alright. Uh, here's another one here. All right, and so what we're going to do is we'll go around and we'll um, we'll grab some more on the way around. So here's another one there. All right, nice uh, little one. Yeah. We'll pick that. We'll carry on. Here's a. Uh, well, see if I can find. Is that it there? I'm trying to... Oh, there we go. Alright. Grab that one as well. Okay. Here's one here that I picked earlier. And you can see this one here. Um, it's all... Uh, I'll come back a bit. You can see this one here is all inky okay so this started out like the other ones but it's uh this is an old version so it's gone from being that cone shape up to like a normal looking mushroom really flat but real inky okay so that there's yuck you don't want to eat that one it's got ink all over it yuck throw that one away so here's another one here We'll zoom in on it. Okay, so you, what you want to try and do, as I said, get your finger underneath, okay, and pull it out. Alright, you can just pluck them out, but it's better to pull them out, that way you know that, um, you're looking for what we call the uh, vulva or the bulb which means it could be like a poisonous one okay so we don't want those ones so we'll move over here and we'll grab a few more and then what we'll do is um trying to find it yeah we'll grab a few more and then we'll um turn the camera off and show you them at home So here's some little ones here. I'm going to get them in shot. Okay. They're a little bit wet. Um, there we go there. Yeah, they're a little bit wet, but uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll see you back uh, at the house shortly when I pick these other ones and uh, uh, we'll cook them okay, up. So here's a good little patch patch of them in here um, and uh, quite a few of them all right here's a nice big one down here you see that one there there's a nice big one that's a beauty um, and here's a few old couple of old ones over here just there's an old one all right 
that's the old one there and there's another one just out to the right of it okay there's another old one there okay so you can tell that the base of them the uh the stem that comes up is okay on those but the top part's not good it's that they're old okay so we don't want those ones with all the ink all over it and you've got another one just down here just just there okay you can see that one there's just starting to get ink on it as well okay so um you probably want to stay away from that as well um but apart from that we're going to pick these last ones and uh then we're going to shoot off because these particular mushrooms only last up to around about six hours or so so you want to like pick them and then cook them okay you don't want to I'll be back shortly okay so uh welcome back i uh, just got home and um these are these are the um the collection that i collected tonight uh from uh just when i finished work okay so um and i found these just in a uh, green uh pasture okay just in a grassy area all right um so the it's the young ones that you want i've gone through and i've checked them all to make sure that they are uh shaggy uh ink cap uh which they are uh there's a couple here that are sort of um a little bit sort of getting into the mature okay so you'll see these ones here the mature ones um where it's got the black ink sort of on the bottom there okay so this one here in particular all right just the ink just over here all right so it's not actually inky, like I could probably cook that, but um, it's better to be on the safe side for flavour wise um, and, and, and not cook it. So there's that one there I'm going to get rid of, that big one. Um, this is a big one here, that's, that, that, that's what you want, that one, that one there, okay, nice and big but still white and not like that there. So another one I'm going to get rid of is uh, that one just there. Okay, a bit smaller one, and another one up the end there. Alright, so there's about, and then there's a little one right at the end there as well, that I'm going to get rid of. Okay, so there's about four, four of them that I'm going to get rid of. So it's just this one here. One, two, three, four. Alright, so these are the ones I'm going to get rid of. Now, this part here, okay, um, this part here, I can still cook that up. That's that's still nice and white. It's not all, um, you know, going going going. Well, not yuck. These aren't completely yuck yet, but um, that part is fine. But I'll get rid of this one. Um, this one here. These two. Okay, they're starting to get a bit shabby. All right, especially this one. All right, here we go. Sorry. Um, I'll get rid of these two as well. Alright, and and probably this one here as well, okay, you can see it's really shabby, okay. Um, so anything that's not um, good, okay, probably even, I think even this one here I'm going to get rid of as well, okay. It's, it's sort of broken down here, and it's they're, they're just not so white, okay. But here's like a perfect specimen of, of, of what you're looking for okay nice white um it's got good soft nice and soft um it's got no none of the um the ink coming off it all right and just just perfect so i'll give these a this a clean these ones here are clean the good ones and um and we'll be into it okay so it's really important that you you double check um, everything to make sure that you have got what you've what you've um, think you've picked okay because um, um, there is another type of um, mushroom that looks very similar to these but it's uh, more of a brown and white it's almost like um, uh, it's got like a, uh, a camouflage of brown okay if you can imagine camouflage uh, with white, the white here, and a brown camouflage going through it, like a military camouflage. Okay, if you see one of those, and that's a poisonous one. But these ones are definitely um, uh, ink caps, okay, shaggy ink caps, and um, 
they'll be delicious. So we're going to cook those up tonight. We're going to fry them up, I think, in butter. Um, and we're going to cook them with um, some, uh, um, uh, some steak and some eggs. So it should be quite nice. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, go away and I'm going to clean these um, under the water to give, get, get rid of the mud. And, um, and then I'll cut them up and we'll um, fry them up. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, just give it a bit of a clean, alright, so, um, right, so you can get the, the skin on the outside here, okay, and just give it a light, light brush over, like so, okay, and, and it's got like a, a skin on the outside, okay, you can see the skin here, alright, just the skin on the outside, and just brush that off. Okay, you don't need that. Alright, that's all the fluffy stuff at the end there. Okay. Um, same with at the bottom here. Okay, we can we can cut that that all the, the parts here, okay? Cut that off, just slice it off the top. Okay. Okay. Anything where you think that a um, an insect has gone in here, okay? We can just um, cut that out, cut it off, cut it off there. All right, it's all good. All right, so the um, end result would be this here. Okay, here's our end result there. Okay, doesn't have to be 100% perfect. All right, so this is that way inclined. All right, and then we'll plonk that onto our um, plate. Okay, so here's a clean one, and uh, here's a not clean one. All right, so that's how we want it looking. All right, so we're going to the next one. All right, we'll just clean this. All right, it just it just peels off nice and nice and easy. All right, the top layer. Okay. Lost that one. And here, cut, cut the top part off. Okay, you can cut, cut the top part off as well. Cut, cut that top lip off. Okay, done. Next one. Just see the grey tinge from the ink starting to come on this one. Okay, but it's still fine. Alright, still edible this one, not a problem. Cut this top. Cut that off. Here off. All right, and there's our end result. Okay, so you can see this one here's the ink's just starting to come through, um, you know, on the inside here. But I reckon we'll get away with that one. All right, should be fine. Okay, but this is perfect, perfect age here. No, there's no perfect age, sorry, no black uh, ink on this one. Okay, so that should. This one will be nice. Now, I must say that um, when you eat these, okay, um, you can't consume alcohol, right? You can't consume alcohol uh, when you've got the, these in your system, okay? Because if you do, um, you, it's not going to be nice, okay? Um, 
it'll be you'll feel like you'll feel like you have been poisoned okay for example um, you're not going to die from it but you're going to be you're going to be um, vomiting and you're going to have diarrhea real bad vomiting and diarrhea okay so um, and it's not nice when it's when when you've got anything like that um, you're basically wanting to go to the toilet with diarrhea and at the same time you're trying to chuck up okay so and only one part of your body can be on the toilet at any one time <laughs> so it's not a nice feeling um, I've been in that situation once before when I uh, um, ate a uh, part of a fern tree right, many years ago and uh, I actually thought it was uh, a, 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 a fern tree called um, Marmaku. Um, but the actual tree that I was eating was just a uh, random um, fern tree. I had the wrong one. All right. That was when I was just learning. And uh, I can tell you right now, it's, it, I wouldn't wish it upon anybody to be in a position like that. Okay, so that one didn't take long, just nice, 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 nice. I'm so looking forward to this. Anyway, um, what I'll do is I'll continue to um, clean these and um, and then I'll get back to you uh, when it's all done. So <clears throat> this is what I've done so far. All right, and they're looking pretty good. All right, and so what I'll do is I'll, I'll do the rest up and then I'll come back. And so I'll see shortly. So what I'm doing now is I'm just giving them a final a final clean. Okay, so what I'm actually doing is um, breaking them open, okay, and just giving them a final clean on the inside to make sure get out uh, any bugs or anything anything else, okay? And then throwing them up here. Alright. So just opening it up. Alright and just giving it a bit of a flush out. Now these here are um, they contain a lot of water anyway okay um, so you don't need to worry about water logging them they're actually um, contain a lot of water in them anyway quite a high percentage of the mushrooms So the next step is to the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to chop them up. Okay, so we're going to dice these up like so. I'll be right back. So, back. so first and foremost, just wanted to get a thing to. Um, Cut the, just to sharpen the knife up a bit, okay, so just give it a few uh, slices of the steel. Alright, should be enough. Okay, and then we want to dice it up, okay, so all we want to do is just get it and just, just finally, I don't know if you can see that, Finally dice it. Okay. Move 
going to the next one. Penny, can you um, just see if you can zoom that in a bit better? My hands are in the way. Alright, so we just want to dice this up because this is going to just make the um, cooking a little bit um, easier. Okay, it'll make the uh, it'll make the uh, mushrooms a little bit more easier to um, take in. Now, I haven't particularly gone over the um, description of the uh, Inky Cat. Okay, the Shaggy Inky Cat or Shaggy Ink Cat as much as what I could have. There's lots of uh, descriptions online. Um, uh, and it's pretty easy to identify. Okay. Um, and as I said, it should be... Um, when you see the other ones that are really um, inky, You've got the ink coming off them, okay, um, then you'll know that the ones close by are shaggy ink caps. And in saying that, you've always got to properly identify each um, mushroom because sometimes poisonous mushrooms can grow around edible mushrooms, okay, in the same vicinity. Um, so you can never be too safe, all right, you always want to just make sure you 100% um, check that you've got the right type of mushroom okay um, and what I'll do is uh, at some stage I'll probably go over um, mushrooms in more detail as time goes on I'll go over it in more detail Um, when I see some magic mushrooms, um, I'll I'll do a video on those as well. The magic mushrooms. Um, when I was down in Christchurch in the Defence Force, they were everywhere. The magic mushrooms. Uh, but there's different types of magic mushrooms, um, and really it's just a matter of knowing what you're looking for. Personally, tried magic mushrooms myself, but uh, I know what I know what they look like. I know which ones they are. Now the texture of this is very soft. Okay, it's very very soft. Um, the smell is like a. It, it's almost like a clean vanilla sort of a well I wouldn't sort of say vanilla it's it's an earthy smell but it's not pungent in any way it's 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 almost like a clean smell okay um, there's really it's yeah that's all I could probably say it's like a clean smell. Um, yeah. Now the if you learn the the um, some of the poisonous mushrooms, like uh, there's the uh, um, it's called the death cap. Okay, um, 
That one is quite easy to distinguish. Um, and then there's another one which is the uh, the angel of death, I think it's called, or something similar. Um, those ones are just uh, those ones are like obviously they'll kill you with, without uh, too much of a problem. Um, and when you get to know what those ones look like. Um, you'll recognise that they don't look anything like the um, the shaggy uh, ink cap. Okay. Um, and those two that I just mentioned, those ones are the uh, most dangerous, you know, they're, they're, they're toxic. Like big time. But as I said, so is this one here. It's not toxic, toxic. But it will make you very, very sick if you take this with alcohol, any form of alcohol. Okay, so don't have a wine with your meal. Um, don't drink after your meal either, okay, like a couple of hours or I would say at least two to three hours after your meal. Any, I'd just stay away from alcohol, okay, once you've had this. So make that quite clear to anybody that's um, going to be eating these, okay? You want to make sure that they don't have any alcohol or they'll get very, very sick. In fact, a lot of people thought that this mushroom here in particular was uh, poisonous and it was only because they had alcohol in their system as well. Anyway, so that's how she's looking. She's looking pretty damn good there. Alright, and uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to um, fry this up. That's a lot of mushroom right there. But uh, we're going to fry it up and um, have uh, some steak and some eggs. And then we're going to into it have feed. Okay. Cheers. I'll see, you so see you shortly. Okay, so the first thing is we're putting um, some uh, butter on. We're going to cook it with butter. Okay, so the butter's the uh, elements on high at the moment. And um, probably got about... I don't know, maybe two tablespoons, tablespoon and a half of uh, butter. And uh, we've also got um, um, some garlic. We're going to put some garlic in with it and some salt. All right. So um, as soon as we're ready, as soon as this is um, mounted down, uh, we'll go into the um, adding the rest of the uh, ingredients. Okay. So welcome back. What we're going to do now is we're going to start adding in the... Um, the mushrooms, okay. Okay, and with the water content of these uh, mushrooms, um, it will it will start to create quite a bit of juice as well. Okay, um, but what we want to do is we want to soak soak all of this into the um, butter. Okay, and get that flavour in there. wasn't cut up. Or stem is the actual name rather than stalk. Okay, so you can see, as I said, you, you see all the juices there. Okay, all the juices start coming out because of all the um, the water. Okay, because as I said, there's a high water content in this um, particular um, mushroom. So even though we're trying to fry it, it almost goes into almost a, um, a bit of a boil. Mm. Let that cook there for a minute.
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is because there's so much juices in there, okay, I'm just going to put the lid on, all right, and then I'm going to tip tip some of this out, okay. You can see here, I'll get rid of some of those juices. Okay, so we really want to be like frying it. Okay, that should about do it. Straight away you can hear it more frying now, rather than uh, boiling. That's what the sound we want. Okay, so there's the juices. Hopefully you could see what I was doing because I had it like closed in. But I basically, um, I've uh, put the lid on, okay, and um, basically had the lid on, like so, alright, and then just basically tipped it up, okay, and um, got all the juices out like that, okay, and those are the juices you can see um, in the plate here now. Alright, so uh, my apologies for that. I thought I had it uh, zoomed out. Mmm, that smells beautiful. That, uh, the smell that it smells like is, um, it smells like, Eggs. Okay, it smells like eggs, which is uh, scrambled eggs. That's what it smells like at the moment. Yeah, it smells like scrambled eggs. Mmm, beautiful. Smells like scrambled eggs and looks like scrambled eggs. Okay, so now we've got our steak here and onions and garlic. Okay, steak, onions, and garlic. So now we're going to throw all this in as well. Shouldn't really be using a um, a uh, metal spoon in this uh, wok. So if I sort of wok pan, probably scratch it. Let's get up. Okay, so now the flavour should really start to come into play as all this mixes in. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to let that, um, I'm going to chuck the lid on, okay, and um, let, let all these um, flavours mould in with each other and blend, and um, we'll be back shortly. Okay, what I'm going to do now 
just going to add a bit of uh, bit of salt, a bit of salt to the mix. Not coming out very good here. Okay, so um, that's uh, the meal cooked up there. Okay, a uh, bit of a uh, almost like a, a sort of a stir fry. Okay, and uh, now we're going to serve it up and um, have a feed. We'll see you shortly okay, at the table. So um, here's the uh, feed here. All right, um, and uh, I'll just bring it out a bit. All right. <coughs> All right, so I'll let you know how it tastes. Just um, finding some of the uh, mushroom by itself. Very nice, very nice, and uh, with some steak and a bit of uh, onion as well. Beautiful, very, very, very nice. So, um, <clears throat> got a couple of buns here as well, just to go with the meal. But uh, I must say, very nice. Shaggy ink cat doesn't sound very nice, shaggy ink cat, but it is very nice. Um, so you can add anything else with it. Um, you can add um, sweet and sour sauce, um, chili sauce. Um, oh, I should have said chili sauce. I mean, uh, chilies, just whatever. Okay, if you want to spice it up a bit, um, just add add in to what you want to taste. But um, very very nice, um, delicious. So if you see some around. My advice is to um, grab it, grab it while you got it, and get it. Okay. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed. Hope you've learned something new. Um, and um, we'll catch you on the next video. Subscribe, like, comment, and uh, yeah, I'll just um, yeah, we'll see you, see you next time. Cheers for coming along. Sorry, there's just something that I um, um I forgot to mention um, with the um, shaggy ink caps is that um, they also uh, have a medicinal um, property in them, and that is used for or good for prostate cancer. Okay, so it's uh, it actually helps to cure and uh, uh, cure prostate cancer at an early stage of prostate cancer. Okay. So, um, for those that, uh, I don't personally have prostate cancer, but um, anything that you can take like that as a uh, preventative measure um, is good for you, it can't hurt you. Okay, and for those that do, then um, this, this particular mushroom has that quality in it that um, helps to cure it. So it's just something I forgot to mention that I thought was quite important and um, um, yeah.
as I said earlier, um, enjoy. Cheers for coming along.